Hi guys, we've got another um, opening here. This time it is the Legend deck, the Dark Ren Suzukamori. So we're going to bust this open and see what's inside and go through all these cards. Um, so this features the Shadow Paladin Clan. And as a Legend deck, which is the first of its kind, because we've got like Mega Trial decks and then Legend decks and everything, um, let's just see what we can get out of this. Okay, so it looks like we get a deck box too. Uh, let's just try and figure out how... There we go. There we go. And we're in. And we get a deck box. Which I will probably make after the video. That's quite nice. Let's just put that one there. A... Shiny promo card called. Oh, we get shiny. We get. We seem to get some extra stuff too. So we've got a shiny promo card called. Don't know if my camera's going to focus. Sorry. There we go. Dark Knight Grim Recruiter. That's a promo. And oh, we finally get a damage counter. So plus five and plus ten. Oh, okay, that'll be quite useful when I'm playing the uh, major important matches. So there we go, we get that and that. And we also get a playmat and a starter's guide still. Trash. <laughs> so the legend deck comes in two halves. So let's just buy it. Bust these open one at a time. Okay. Oh, that's nice. They've got a nice little tab on them to uh, get into them. Which I've just ruined. <laughs> so there's been a lot of speculation about this deck, and there's probably quite a lot of videos already on YouTube by the time this one's been uploaded. So, I imagine... Lots of people have reviewed this. I can't actually get into this without damaging the cards. Hang on. There we go. We're in. Right. So, up first we have got Blaster Dark Diablo, Generation Break 2. While you are paying the cost for stride, if you're, if the genie genie you stride has blaster in its card name, the cards in your hand get grade plus three. So that means you can immediately stride with anything. And during your turn, when you, when your dark dragon Fanta blaster Diablo stride, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. Okay, that's amazing, and that's shiny too. And we get a common one. Oh, we get three common ones. Wow. Okay, Legend Deck speaks its own words. Right, up next is... Let's get into focus. Bloodstained Battle Knight Dorant. So this is Gem Break 1. During your turn, if you have a Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard with Blaster in its card name, this unit gets plus 2,000, so it becomes an 11,000 column already. And, when this unit attacks Vanguard, if this unit is boosted by a unit with Caldus in its name in its card name, choose a card from your damage zone and turn it face up. Oh wow, a unflipping 11k attacker. Oh, and we get a shiny one and four of those too. Up next, we get the Dark Heart Trumpeter. So, Soul Blast one, well, Gem Break one, Soul Blast one. When this unit is placed on Rear Guard, if you have a Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard with Blaster in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck up to one Grade 1 or less card not named Dark Heart Trumpeter and call it to Rear Guard and shuffle your deck. Wow. And we get three of those. Okay, up next we have got the Pitch Black Sage Charon. 
which is choose a grade three from your hand and reveal it, and add one blast to dark. While you are retiring your rear guards for the cost of this unit's ability, if you have a grade three or greater vanguard with blast in its card name, retiring this unit may be regarded as retiring two rear guards. Oh, that is amazing! And we get four of those too. Wow. Um. Oh, this one I have heard about. This is slightly different. This is slightly different gen guard. Uh, choose a covering and discard it when this unit is placed on guardian from your hand. You may pay the cost if you do. Choose one of your vanguards that has been attacked and that unit cannot be hit until the end of that battle. Then, if there is a card named Nittle Skull, which name in, in your drop zone, draw a card, choose a card from your hand and discard it. Wow. And we get... How many of those do we get? We get four of those straight off the bat. Four perfect guards in a legend deck. That does not happen. Then we get triggers. Leaping Knight. Ligan Luma. One, two, three, four. Again, another shiny one. Then on top of that we also get... Sorry, let's just get into focus. There we go. Uh, how I will put this in the to soul, choose up to three of your units, and they get plus three fans until the end of the turn. And that one's shiny, and we get four of those, too. Right, let's open up the other half, shall we? I do apologise, I have got a really horrible cold. Right, so here we are, the main stride unit of the deck. Blast Dark Dragon Phantom Blaster Diablo. So, counter plus one. Choose a face down card named itself from your G zone and turn it face up. If the number of face up cards in your G zone is two or more, until the end of the turn, this unit gets 10,000 plus critical one. So it's already 26,000 and you've retired a unit and it's got critical one and it's 36,000. Then, and on Vanguard, choose three of your rear guards. And retire them. When this unit attacks the vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, your opponent may choose two of, two of his or her rear guards and retire them. If he or she does not, your opponent cannot call cards from hand to guardian. Wow. That, that, that just breaks the game and there's four of them in this deck. Wow. Good thing you're only allowed to do that once per turn, but you'd only be able to do it anyway with... So that's amazing. We'll just add that to our Grim Recruiter too. Right, okay. Up next we have got the Dark Great Mage Badad K Babad Car, which is counter plus one and gem break one. When this unit attacks and hits a vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck up to one grade one or less card and call it a rear guard and shuffle your deck. So we get one shiny one of those and four of those as well. There we go, we'll just put those down there. And then up next we get the... Call this to camera, reveal and focus. Let's have a look. I'm sorry, there we go. Uh, Dark Knight Maiden Maka. Uh, counter pass one and gem break one. When this unit attacks Vanguard, if this unit is boosted, you may pay the cost if you do. Search your deck up for one grade one card and call it to rear guard and shuffle your deck. So basically getting another attack off, and we get four of those too. There we go. Uh, right, grade two again. This time the unorthodox shield Mackler. When this unit intercepts, if the number of rear guards in your back row is one or less, this unit gets plus 10,000 until the end of the battle. Ah, so he turns into a 15,000 shield too. Okay, and we get two of him. Then our next card is Ardos Battle Knight Claudus, which is Grade 1. Uh, gem Break 1. During your turn, if you have a Grade 3 or Greater Vanguard with Bast in its card name, this unit gets Power Plus 2000. And when this unit boosts a unit with Dorant in its card name, the boosted unit gets Plus 2000 until the end of the battle. And we get 1, 2, 3, 4 of those too. Awesome. New starting Vanguard for Shadow Paladins is... Full Bow Brave, so like Wingle Brave, but Full Bow Brave. 
Gem break one and counter plus one and put this unit into your soul. Search your deck up to one card with blast strength card name. Reveal it to your opponent and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Oh wow, instant grade two, three, and it's just consistent. Uh, Revenger, Undead Angel, so another Revenger, and that's a critical trigger. And we get it in shiny, one, two, three, four. And then we get a shiny heal trigger, which is Flat Bow. Flat Bow, so fun, so fun. And we get one, two, three, four of those, naturally. Um, what can I say about that deck? It, It's amazing. I think that's the best value product that Bushy Road have ever given out. Um, please comment and subscribe and say what you think about that. Um, anyway, in our next video, I will be doing uh, my trade folder and deck profiles for what we went used for in Cardiff from my team, which was Team Swordbreaker. So we did okay. Um, okay, see you later. Bye.